Hi everybody, it's Wendy and Dave from Be Do Learn Have Live and we're on the next video and we're actually in October 2017 right now is what we're talking about. We're not there right now, now is 2018, but we're talking about 2017 October and this was um, my game changing mind shift. Uh, Dave and I uh, went to Bob Proctor's Paradigm Shift in Los Angeles in October and it was amazing. Uh, I totally get in tune with the way Bob teaches and and, Han, and his content about, um, you know, you are what you think about and, and that sort of mind, mindset process. I, I just found it phenomenally awesome and that's when everything started to fall into position for me. What about you? Well, for me, okay, uh, a little bit of a backstory. Uh, Bob Proctor here is someone that um, through my mind way back when remembering I, I have Bob as something that's come in on my radar and, he, and, and it's sort of one of those names that's that's come at me from oh, yes. a few different angles over a bunch of years and uh, certainly watching The Secret again at some point earlier in the mm -hmm. year highlighted that again and I was like okay you know what I want to go and see Bob Proctor I like you know I really want to go and see him now I think he was able or doing an event back in June, but that conflicted with us already booking with Mary <laughs> Morrissey. So uh, busy. So what happened, and this has been actually the course that happened a lot over this over this year of 2017, and, um, and it happened a lot in the fall too. So sort of somewhere around June, uh, I'd made the commitment, okay, Bob's coming up, his next event's October, I'm booking that, and, I, yeah. and we basically booked that probably towards the end of June actually yeah and um, we don't because we just come also off from Mary Morrissey's thing Wendy was was quite excited about okay I've gone through that I've been pushed through my comfort zones <laughs> uh, let's do another dream builder now as it turned out on this particular October we, we were able to do Mary Morrissey and Bob Proctor back as, to back, uh, back, to back and we had like two days in between um, so we actually went out I think did uh, was it Bob, Bob first? first Bob first, and then we had a couple of days we extended in the hotel, and then we went to Dallas, I think, for that one yeah. uh, to do Mary Morrissey's uh, event again. Yeah. Um, and prior or or in between our last video for our, our eclipse, our eclipse, um, I had been on I think two, possibly three events <laughs> uh, from the Success Resources Quantum Leap program. Um, I done. I picked up an extra course that was suggested I go to, and at one of these courses, I'd also committed to and signed and invested in <laughs> a number of other side ventures. And part of this is is to look at other ways to expand either my knowledge, my experiences, or find other opportunities for me to potentially um, look at or learning about or earning revenue from from other streams so that will sort of come into play in the, in the next little comedy bit but for right now we're we're in october and we are uh basically at bob proctor's event and this mm -hmm. was um awesome uh exciting and a bit different because we, we'd come from mary morrissey so wendy had seen that and <laughs> i've been to my success resources and both of these events are all like whoop 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 yeah, yeah give me a high five all right we know we're going to talk to strangers and we're going to do all these things and we're like oh what the hell is this? to okay well let's embrace it and let's get on so we yeah. we turn up at bob's event and everybody's standing there you know their the nice ties on. and their suits and everybody's you know all being polite and, and it's like okay it was very so different it was, actually it was a different environment yeah. but totally cool absolutely yeah. awesome um Value, oh, amazing! It, it was, was it was really cool, and yeah. So if you haven't heard of Bob, I check him out on some other videos because he's uh, he's 85 now, and he's been learning this stuff since 1961, and he's an expert on personal development. He's just an amazing guy, and uh, so at that event, um, we signed. Well, I signed up for the Matrix um, course, which is one of his six-day intensive courses that he um, had in. He has in Toronto because he lives in Toronto, so he does it in a hotel fairly near to his house. Um, that was another fifteen thousand US, I believe. Yes, US. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Dave didn't go on that one because at that point we were actually running out of money. 
Uh, so that was my baby. That was going to be my thing to look forward to in December. And then uh, we also signed up at that event for something called the Lead the Field, which is based on Earl Nightingale's um, sort of program from, I guess, from the 60s. Yeah, that, that was pretty much a, a complete remake of the, the original Lead the Field from yeah. like the, the 60s or 70s or something like that. Yeah. Uh, with Bob's take is now he's gone more in depth and explained. So he's he's got, he's read out the bits that Earl did in the original program and then he's gone on yeah. to do extra explanations on top and he's done a few other supporting videos around it. So, it was so actually, that, was that was basically a, cool a four month, four month intensive program yep. uh, of you have to listen to the same um, mess, same same lesson for 10 days and the point of this is repetition and Bob's very keen Actually. on repetition yeah repetition is is, is really important because it, it gets stuck in, in in your mind and your subconscious and so when with all these courses that we've done there's always a time commitment at the back end somewhere as well so a lot of our once we we've done Bob and we're doing some other things we were pretty much busy most evenings with watching a webinar or watching a lead the field thing, which is half an hour to 45 minutes every night. And then like, oh shit, it's 10 o'clock. We've got to do Bob still. But we had, to, I think we missed one day actually. One day we, we somehow missed with traveling or something, but we actually did really well. So that finished in like January, February. And then we've just started back up again, watching it again, because we know that we can see the value of the repetition and, and the message. And we're also in mentally in a different place too. We have so much more awareness now that the, 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 the lesson that we're watching again has also a different meaning to it again. So that's that's uh, a key thing, is just to keep reading the same book a year later or the, um, watching a webinar a year later. You still see, you see different things coming out on it as you as you grow, so. But that was uh, that was a really good course. So that was Matrix in December, and I'll talk about that probably later. Um, and then we went to Mary Morrissey in Dallas, and we just, uh, we were actually so tired after Bob's event. We skipped one of the evenings because we were just wiped, but then we got back into it in the next day and it was another great, amazing, lots of great people as well. So another good event. Yeah. So what, what we've been finding and what we still see right up to now is that when you're going on a lot of these events, um, as you're doing them, you're invested, you're, well, ideally you should be completely invested in them and uh, focused and listening and being like awake and there in the moment listening to everything that's being said mm -hmm. and so what happens is when you keep that up for multiple days in a row it, it is actually quite wearing <laughs> and so when you come off these courses although your mind's still like oh what can I do right now what can I do right now um, you find that the, you'll have these spots where you'll just like <laughs> you just crash, crash. and um, and that's sort of what we were getting by having these things because again you know even traveling it's not always that easy to just relax or turn off while you're on these these flights or while you're at the airport right you got to watch your bags got to do this you got to sit there and mm -hmm. so so they, they just add to it so yeah we had this one night where it was like okay you know what we're just we, we've done this before let's just take yeah. a night off and actually it was it was probably a really good decision a good because decision. we we came back the following morning and 100% on board rather than kind of like uh. yeah exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah that, that was that was really good again um, and okay so Wendy talked about her matrix program now Wendy did this on her own That's and is in, in December yeah so I, uh, are we talking about that now um, we're, we're, we're starting get, getting up on time here yeah let's talk about matrix real quick so matrix was in December I drove to Toronto on my own which was the first time I've ever done that actually because uh, they was on a course in New Jersey at that point. So we split our separate ways and I went to um, Toronto and spent six days surrounded by like-minded people, um, masterminding basically, finding out what our C goal is, which is the one that, that you have no idea how to get there or how to get it, but, but it's trying to formulate the plan for your goal. And it was just... Um, Amazing just talking to people learning about people's what they want to do with their their lives and what their goals are and dreams are and Bob and Sandy his partner in crime were doing um, just stage talking and it was just an amazing week just fantastic and then the last day after we graduated Matrix which is fantastic we um, went to Bob's house for like a little uh, party and just um, actually went in his studio I sat at his desk where you see him do his videos and it was freaking awesome. So uh, we came back with that with some a whole new set. Well, I came back from that with a whole new set of skills and how to, uh, to speak to people. My comfort zones again were stretched um, because I was on my own. And usually 
I used to be in his shadow a lot. Uh, I was always like, yeah, I'm, I'm with Dave. It's, 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 I'm, I'm not my own person, but this course pushed me out of that and made me become me. And awesome. what did you do? <laughs> and what were you doing? You were doing oh, something else. Uh, yeah. I, did, uh, I did a course with a gentleman called Paul Fink, who right. is a, um, he, coach. He, he's a coach. Yeah. Uh, and his thing is double your income in a year if you want to take him up on his programs. But he offered a three day boot camp, mm -hmm. um, which is actually uh, very good information. I ended up meeting a couple of other people from Toronto there. Uh, which we've now become friends with mm -hmm. uh, and that's awesome uh, in fact we've had a, a few different meetings and dealings with them through the various courses because they're also they were on this course because they're part of the quantum leap program that i am through success resources although they kind of sign up at a slightly different schedule and that's and, the thing too is is with, when you start doing these courses you see people you've seen before and you start making a new network of friends who do think like you now and you find that the people you used to hang around with you don't want to hang around with them anymore because they're just they're too negative they're they shoot you down in respect of oh you can't do that that's a stupid idea and we found that we've basically moved away from most of the people we know in our hometown so we have a global f friend network now rather than just a city-wide network i guess and even then we didn't have that many friends before because we we're unsociable buggers but uh, <laughs> but i guess on that note we're uh, out of time and we'll um We'll go on to the next one and talk about what's next. Las Vegas. So that's it. All right. All right. We'll see awesome. you see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.